Hey guys, Mo Long here, and I'm really excited because we are going to take a look at installing Android on the Asus Tinkerboard. So for this build, I'm going to use Tinker OS Android. There are other Android images for the Tinkerboard, including one of my favorite alternatives, which is Slash TV. And that's a, an Android TV OS for the Tinkerboard. And it comes preloaded with a number of apps, including the Google Play Store, Netflix, Plex, and some different emulators for a really robust home theater PC and retro game console. But today we're going to take a look at the official Android image from Asus. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and download that image. And you can get that straight from Asus's website under the Tinkerboard webpage and the download section. Let's go ahead and click Tinker OS Android and it will download a zip folder with your image inside. So once you've got that downloaded, you're gonna to have to navigate over to whatever directory it downloaded to. And in this case, it's my downloads directory. And you're gonna to need to extract that image. It's pretty small, it's only about a gig. So it shouldn't take too long to extract. And then once we've got that image extracted, we're going to need to mount it to either a micro SD card or an EMMC module. And in my case, I'm just using a micro SD card and I'm going to use Etcher. But there are a lot of other software options out there that you can use instead of Etcher. So go ahead and point your image mounting software to the correct image. You might get an error, but just hit continue and everything should work fine. Make sure that your correct boot medium is selected. And when you're ready, go ahead and hit flash. Once it's finished, go ahead and switch over to your Tinkerboard. Here we are in Android on the Asus Tinkerboard, and you, as you can see, it's a pretty minimalist build. There's not a lot of pre-installed software, and I kind of like it that way, although I do really also appreciate Slash TV for gaming and home theater PC use. So you're just going to have your basic apps on here, like an APK installer, web browser, calculator, and a number of other pretty basic apps. 
And you will notice that this is a tablet or touchscreen optimized version of Android. But I do find that it works really well on a television monitor or projector. Although the Google Play Store isn't installed by default, you can sideload it as well as sideload a number of other APKs. And so the easiest method for that is go over here to your APK installer. And you'll be asked if you want to grant read external storage access, so go ahead and hit OK. Go ahead and select Allow. And click Install. And there, just select your location. So mine is on a flash drive. And what I did was just download that APK to a flash drive using my computer, pop it into my Tinkerboard. And what you may have to do here is change your settings so that you can install apps from unknown sources. So let's go ahead and do that. Give it a couple minutes to install, and then you should be ready to use the Google Play Store. And here we are in Plex. Navigation is pretty smooth, and I was actually able to turn on Plex's TV interface for easier navigation. Streaming really shouldn't be an issue, but let's go ahead and do a quick test.
And there you have it. We have Android on the Asus Tinkerboard. And I was able to install the Play Store, Plex, RetroArch, and a number of other apps just through side loading them. And I do think it works pretty well. It's a different experience than you'll find with some sort of Android device that just works out of the box. But overall, it's a pretty solid image that works with most apps that you can find on the Google Play Store or to sideload. Definitely think it's worth using. And I'd also recommend checking out Slash TV for a nice pre-built Android TV operating system. Thanks for watching. Keep on tinkering.